So in this problem, we have a police boat over here by Ellis Island and a criminal boat over here by the, the South Ferry Terminal. And they're across from each other, so we can draw a line going uh, east from the police boat all the way over to this criminal boat. And let's say that um, at some point they're going to meet. They're, they're riding along, maybe the criminal, criminal boat, this boat over here is running away, but they're going to meet down here, right? The blue and the red are going to collide. And if you want to think about the paths that they would take to get there, right? Perhaps the police boat is coming down here and the criminal boat is also coming down here as well and they're going to meet, right? So we have this triangle and now we're doing trigonometry. So let's just sum up a couple of things and figure out what's going on here. First of all, the blue boat is, we'll call that our police boat. That's the blue dot. And the red dot is going to be our criminal boat. And when we mix those two colors, criminal boat, uh, we get their collision. And these, these blue lines right there, here could represent their paths to get to that point. Um, maybe the criminal boat's going this way and the police boat is going towards that dot as well. So, so what else do we need to know? Well, we want to know about the angles that they're, that they're navigating, um, or that they're using to navigate, right? So the police boat, let's say that the police boat travels due north at 105 degrees. What does that mean? Well, due north at 105 degrees. Well, due north is referring to the, the northern direction where that's zero degrees. So when you say do when you say do north, north equals zero degrees. And any degree measure that we measure due north then goes opens clockwise from that point. And this I think is the way that that uh, boat navigation actually works. So we have this this to think about that if we're traveling due north at a hundred and, and five degrees, what that means is if we have this line here to represent the zero degree line which is perpendicular to our east-west line, um, and we're traveling at 105 degrees, that means we're going to go 105 degrees this way, clockwise, until we get down here. And altogether, that angle is 105 degrees. But we want to know, I mean, this is a, a triangle in here, and we're using trigonometry, so we want to know this angle in here. So what's that? Well, if the whole angle is 105 degrees, and this angle right here is a right angle, right, the line from north, to east-west is 90 degrees. This angle in here is going to equal the total 105 degrees minus the 90 degrees between the north and east-west lines. So this angle is 15 degrees. And already we're getting somewhere in our triangle. And what if we also know that that this this police boat, when it's traveling, it's it's going um, at 23 at 23 it's going at 23 knots in this direction. So it's going down this way, um, so it's traveling at a 15 degree angle from east-west, and it's traveling at 23 knots. Okay, now for the, for the criminal boat, what if we know that it's also traveling due north, but at a different angle measure, so up here is north, and what if we're told that it's traveling at a total of 195 degrees due north, so that means the angle opening up, it's going to go clockwise. Here's 180, right at this line. We keep going until we get to 195. My diagram is definitely a little bit off, but but there it is. About 195. That's 195 degrees. And we're interested in, in this little angle right here because that's the angle inside the triangle. Well, what do we know? Well, this is 180, right? And, and altogether, this is 90 degrees. So this is going to be a part of that 90 degree angle. Um, so what's this little angle right here that'll help us? If this is 180, this angle in here has to be 15. Why? Because altogether it's 195. So this is 180. Oops, can't see that. This chunk is 180. And this is 15, so that's, that's the 190. And what's left over? Well, this is a 90 degree angle, and we already have 15. So this angle in here is going to be what's left over. It's the 90 degrees, the 90 degrees between east, west, north, south, minus 15 degrees, and that gives us 75 degrees. So this angle is 75 degrees, this angle is 15 degrees. 
well, what's this angle going to be over here? To figure that out, well, um, a triangle, right, let's, let's do this. A triangle has 180 degrees. And we already know two of the three angles, so let's take those angles away and see what's left. So 180 minus 15, what's that? Well, that's 165. 165 minus, minus 75 is 90 degrees. So even though my diagram is definitely a little bit off, this is the right angle. It has to be. So now we have our right triangle, and we can start referring to um, any trig function we need to solve this problem. And what we want to know in this problem is, well, we can, we can figure out all kinds of stuff. We could figure out well, how far did the police boat have to travel, and how far did the criminal boat have to travel. We can even look at um, how, much, how much time it took for them to get there, even though we have nothing about time. And let's, let's break those things down. So first of all, um, what do we know? Well, the, the police boat is traveling at 23 knots to get to this point where they collide. And we know the angles of the boats are traveling, so we figure out these angles in the triangle. Um, what if we use the idea that this boat is traveling a distance, right? So we have the distance formula. Distance equals a rate times a time. Now both of these boats, right, we're, let's assume they both start at the same time, right? They're both sitting in the water and they start going. So they're both traveling at the same time. So I don't know, I don't know what the distance is of the police boat. I only know the speed. 23 knots is a speed. For, that we use 23 knots to measure boat speed, so it's I think a little bit over 23 miles per hour, and um, so we know the speed, the rate of the the police boat, and we know that it traveled some time. So we can think of of this leg of the triangle to figure out what's going on right here using this formula as 23 times some amount of time, because what that means that's distance. This dis this leg is a distance of the triangle and that equals rate times time, that is distance. Well, um, that's got to equal some speed, we don't know the speed of the, the criminal boat, times the same amount of time. Because we're assuming that they're starting off at the same time, and then going and then meeting. So, so now we can figure out what that x is. How can we do it? Well, let's write these formulas out. We have distance for the police boat, right? That's equals 23 times the time and the distance for the for the criminal boat right, distance of P, distance of C is going to equal something times the same time and if we look at the tangent, right, the tangent is super useful here because we refer to our acronym of SOHCAHTOA we have this angle over here, right, and that would use the opposite TOA over adjacent so tangent of 75 degrees equals the opposite 23 times a time over the adjacent x times a time and now it gets really close to our solution because time divided by time cancels out that's one and the tangent of 75 degrees equals 23 over x so how do we figure out x well we can multiply both sides by x right these x's cancel out and x times tan of 7. So we have x times the tangent of 75 equals 23. And then, going a little bit further, let me go up here now. Divide both sides by the tangent of 75. So x equals 23 over the tangent of 75. And that will, that will tell us, well, how f what was the rate of the criminal boat to get to this point. And we can we can just solve that if we wanted to. We can use a unit circle and figure it out or just plug into a trig table or um, I'm gonna use my calculator. 23 divided by the tangent of 75. Well what's that? That's equal to x which is 6 so that means that the, the criminal boat is traveling at about 6.16283142626 knots, right? And times some amount of time. So actually, the one thing I guess we don't know, and I'm not sure if we could, could figure this out, is exactly how far did these boats travel, right? Because we're only given speed, we're never given a time. So we don't know the distance. 
we just know, and that's something we, we used here, that the rate of the boat times some amount of time will give you a distance. And we had to assume that both boats were traveling the same amount of time in order for that part of our solution to work. But otherwise, a very interesting problem. And I, I saw something similar to this on the Khan Academy. I think I just changed the context. And I really like this problem because it definitely challenged me.